What's up guys? Cameron with Rustash here. If you guys saw our last video, uh, last two videos, you realize that uh, one of our biggest deficiencies is uh, just hitting the fairway. Um, so today we are on our way to Swing Lounge in Spokane Valley um, for our first lesson. And actually this is my first lesson ever. I started golfing when I was uh, about 17 years old and I'm 37 now. So first lesson in 20 years. Um, we'll see how it goes, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Hey, welcome back to another Rustash Golf video. Uh, today we are getting our first lessons ever. Cam and I, as you guys seen in our other videos, we. Uh, we sprayed around the course a little bit, so hopefully Mike can uh, give us some pointers and hit us in the right direction. Uh, he works here at Swing Lounge over here in Spokane Valley. Mike, what's your experience here as a golfer? So I come from, you know, I was a, a club fitter for four years, you know, grew up playing high school golf, just always been in the golf industry, been a track man, you know, sales rep. Um, like I said, always in the industry. Just started teaching about a year ago and you know it's it's been a big benefit you know being able to work with people indoors and having all these numbers and we'll be able to see that a little bit today is you know when we're working on driver there's going to be some key stuff that we're going to be looking at on the numbers wise that's really going to be beneficial to helping these guys out with the driver so yeah let's get to it yeah let's go one thing i want you to, to do with every single club not just the driver is if that left foot is pretty closed up and it, it doesn't look as bad now as like that last swing. Yeah. So it's almost like that. Okay. What that's doing is if you try to turn, you know, hips, throwing hips and like getting your hips to clear to the ball and impacts super important golf. That front foot's closed up like that. You can kind of feel how it kind of restricts the hips. You ever watch like pro golfers, a lot of them stand just like that. Okay. That allows those hips to turn. Okay. So much easier. So we'll check your line. So that, that ball is going to go where you're pointed. So okay. when you just hit it left, you yeah. point it left. Okay. So you've got to be able to exaggerate that point in the right direction. Now we're square. Okay. And it'll feel closed. It'll yeah. feel wrong. Right. If it feels wrong, it's probably right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is yes, we want a wider stance with the driver. Uh -huh. This is really wide. This is really wide. It's really wide. So what happens there? Why well, I'm going to correct that okay. is you're too wide, like in the golf swing. Now, yes, with the driver, we want we want positive attack angle every time. And you know, to do that, it's like we got to have like when you already do this, kind of like the shoulders tilted up, mm -hmm. more weight on the back leg. But if you do that with that wide stance, it's so easy to get stuck back here okay. and that's when it gets flippy like if you ever start getting the hard hooks i do this too personally is I, I stay back too long and yes i'll get up on it but i'm back so much like those hands try to save it and they just release so fast and you know that's like big hard hooks okay. so it's just by like shortening up that stance like maybe a little wider than shoulder shoulder width okay. that allows you to get to that left side okay so much easier to transition that weight like that stance looks much better. Close on the shoulder. Yes. Left 
and main. So like that's that's what I want. From here, it's like that's a good swing. The setup looks good. Yes, we're getting it off to the right, but like so I'll go through a couple of these numbers. I usually try not to throw too many at like at people because I don't want you to sit there and just like take numbers, numbers, sure. numbers. But so we'll go through the couple that I look at with drivers is facing obviously it's where the face is at impact. Positive number means open, negative means closed. Okay. So that was just 7.4 degrees open. Club path is a nice one to look at. So that's the way, that's kind of what type of swing you have. Me and you were positive numbers. So what that means is we swing inside to out. It's more of a draw. We do a good job of bringing the clubs inside and swing out. It's more of a draw swing. If you were negative, it would be an out to end swing, which means you come out to in, and it creates that more cut shot. We got this left shoulder up, we got some weight on the back leg, but it's really getting like this. It's just a little too much. I want you to try to be able to like, what I do when I'm working on like, when I got a good setup going, it's like, okay, first of all, ball left foot where we want the driver. Feet a little bigger than shoulder width. I'm gonna really try to keep everything as square as possible. And I'm just gonna get that kind of tilt back down now I'm in a good setup, and then all it is from there, like I want, so like when I said that, your arms are getting kind of like this okay. a little too much. Okay. I want them a little bit more, if it's like a pulley system, I want them pretty, pretty like even, if okay. that makes sense. So not too much like this, more so like that. Okay. And then once you get there, from there it's just that, boom, it's just that little tilt from the spine angle to get you set up to hit up on the trying to do it and I like literally it's can't. Gonna, yeah, you can't. So it's, you're gonna have to like force yourself because that it just gets in there like that just a little too much. You gotta just be able to kind of like I said when I'm doing it, I just set up like this and I just kind of bend down, let okay. my arms just hang okay. and then I grab a club. That's the setup. Like you want your arms to just hang down loose below you, grab a club. No, that's the setup. Okay. And then like that looks so much better. There it is. Thanks, man. I am. Appreciate it. Give me some 
more bad shots. Than Like right there, but I like come down on the cross. Yeah, a little bit. It's, it's that. It's that first and initial one. getting fast from the top. So yeah. Because that's another thing that's going to cause that little bit out to end. If you start like trying to hit that hard and like down through. So it's a good thing to do with the irons. With driver, you really got to like. That's why I've said giving it like this lesson is like tempo. Tempo is so important in Puerto Rico. It's such a light club. Right. Like it's so easy to get quickly. Smooth is smooth, fast golf. Yes. No one's saying. Yeah. So it's just a little tiny bit smoother. Because, like, for you, and it's like you got a good swing count. Like I said, you got a lot of good things going for you. The only thing I've really seen is just like a couple miss hits off the face. So yeah. slow that down, work on tempo, yeah. more center face. Yeah. And I think that's like the really the biggest thing. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll try tempo. So try this actually when it's tempo. Some of it's dicey, you know, young kid, like I can hit far. So right. I'm like, everything I got into right. it. What I did, and tempo's kind of a hard thing to teach because I don't really have a, like a, a good drill for tempo. Yeah. But what I got to a point, just something that kind of clicked for me, was two things. So I always think like one, two, like keeping it simple. Simple is, is key in golf. So it's like tempo wise, just a smooth one, two, one. Two. And what that was kind of doing that I would bounce off that, it was like, however fast I bring it back, I'm going to bring it back down the same speed. Obviously, gravity, right. movement, we're going to swing faster, but it's like having that feeling of like same swing, like speed back, same speed down, that like, that was a big thing that clicked for me. Because like I said, you know, we're going to we're gonna swing faster on the down swing, but it's like almost trying to mimic that same speed back, same speed down. Like, that one will be kind of something. All right. So, like, let's just hit a couple and kind of try to yep. feel that. Okay. Hopefully 
guys come back. Yeah, um, yeah. We do some more stuff. Because like I said, like, uh, it's so good. Also, I get, like, bored. I'm the type of person who's like, I gotta, I gotta fix this. this. Yeah, I gotta fix this. Like, yeah. I won't let you continue to hit yeah. the shot. Like, I won't yeah. ride this out with you. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta fix it. That's just the type of person I am. But, yeah. like, and I, I, I know we can get it. Because, like I said, it's so close. Like, I don't want you to, like, like, man, I didn't hit it good today. Like, my swing's just bad. It's like, it's not bad. The swing's really good. It's just the timing. Yeah, like, we, we will find something that's going to help now. Yep. Nice, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching our first ever training session. For, yeah. Lessons. Lessons, yeah. Lessons. And, so yeah. Uh, yeah, come down to Swing Lounge in Spokane Valley. A uh, great place. An open bar, food, four bays, track man. It's awesome. Good vibes, good people. And, you know, Cam and I really love coming here. And so I really enjoyed my first lesson with you. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank, Thank you, guys. You.